what's up trainers welcome back to a new video and in today's video we're going to be diving into the great league once again and i'm back i've been gone for a while or i haven't been uploading much basically because i'm busy with other things as well as this is not my full-time job where i can uh, put all my energy and uh, what whatsoever in uh, i sometimes have to make choices in which uh, yeah that uh, well and ends up in not making a lot of content for you guys but in today's video uh without further ado, hop into these matches but i also want to talk about a, a specific month which is going to be that wiggly tough uh because wiggly tough right now in the current meta in my opinion is one of the strongest months where people maybe are or trainers maybe are sleeping on uh basically because it just walls the licky tongue uh, due to the fact that it is a normal type it uh, basically destroys a medicham it well it definitely deletes a, a sableye and probably there are a few which i haven't set yet but honestly it just fits so well right now in the current meta of course it has some uh, very nice um, um pokemons where they where it's obviously it's not going to shine but in general wigglytuff is a pokemon which i would highly recommend right now if you would try to climb elo uh, because it can just sweep teams also uh, i haven't been too fortunate in my own gameplay uh well been stuck at 2400 now for a while uh, i know i will probably get at some point uh, up to the uh, legend ranking and will climb as well uh, but honestly as as of, as of today's video as well uh, some of the choices i make are not going to be the best uh, but still I want to showcase you these battles and uh, showcase you wiggly tough in spe especially because it is just well as I said before it just fits in right now very well so uh, without further ado I will now commentate on these matches and uh, in the first match well we are just getting countered down by the Deoxys and then now it is time for wiggly tough to shine um, let's see if, what we can do and if uh what do they have in the back that is obviously going to be that registeel uh, which they had on the lead obviously and now we are not baiting shields are uh, almost all down they still have one shield left obviously but in this scenario we will outpace because we still had some energy stored so baiting there would be a bit of a risk uh, so we're just gonna go for it we take them out and now this game is over because we will reach one more hydro cannon and otherwise we will just charm him all the way down uh, and also probably get to another move right because of the fact that it has now disarming voice uh, which has also been a uh, move update from this season if i'm not mistaken so yeah that's going to be a gg very well played next game in the next game we got quacksire on the lead so obviously it's kind of like a favorable matchup for us basically because we just outspend these hydros they swap into a mandibus and well i guess they didn't want to see or play that game out which is a bit, a bit understandable right because we could have just basically found all the way down and leave with so much energy so uh next game ggs to my opponent there sometimes you're just not feeling it right uh, let me know if you f if you got if you uh, can uh, relate because sometimes if i get hard counted i just go to the uh, top left button and see you later alligator alrighty so we got the um we gonna we land the earthquake actually which is huge because now we can just easily farm them all the way down and leave with another move here once again i told you my my plays aren't the best right now because i don't know why i'm just not feeling it at the moment but anyways here we're gonna go for the earthquake where we should have just went for double hydro securing the fact that we would have gotten a lot of um damage off uh, and at this point i'm just gonna get some charm damage catch one hydro and then just output a lot of damage with my counters against the shadow swampert because swampert cannot take anything basically a shadow swampert especially because it is just so frail uh, at this point i'm just going to let this move go through because i think i will be able to farm all the way down with my uh, with my uh, wiggly tough in the back and as you can see we farm them down before they get to another hydra and this is basically going to shield the deal because uh, at this point i do decide to shield up this move i'm not too sure actually we do get baited so this is far for, from ideal but we will be still able to farm them all the way down before they get to the move and that's going to be a gg so a bit, uh, bit luck a bit of luck uh, on our side in that match so another target for wiggly tough uh, but we are ha we are basically gonna have to stay in in this match up uh because i don't want to swap out into my um, medicham because it might still have some play in uh, in uh, against their um backline and in general the way i like to play this is just call the bait if they go for the power whip that's fine because at this health range uh you can make a play against the um uh wiggly tough with your medicham as in well if you start the matchup in general uh, it, well it is a positive matchup for lick tongue even though they take super effective damage from the counter even though they are a normal type and you're a fighting type licky tongue just well deletes the medicham uh, with uh, a body slam where it still has like a decent health 
uh, range left as well. So, in this matchup, uh, we actually lose. And why do we lose? Because we get baited. Uh, they just want to lure out a good Medicham counter. And Medicham actually does quite well in this matchup, where a fairy type, because due to the fact that we are also a normal type as well, those counters are going to add up and they even reach another move, uh, where they will now um, also, because I, I, I know, I just know at this point that whatever they have in their back is weak against my um, uh, Wigglytuff. Uh, here they go for the move unfortunately they reach and now this is going to be a real threat for us like, if we if we are able to uh, farm them all the way down at this point we do have a wink on but i don't think that's going to happen and if they're gonna shield this move up we just know even more that our wiggly top is going here i tried to catch as well but yeah it wasn't it wasn't going to happen and unfortunately and now what do they have in the back is uh, i'm expecting maybe a trevenant or whatsoever but they actually have a sableye which is also well it's the same we're gonna lose this game uh, uh, because we got baited so that was a nice play by our opponent but in the if we would uh, if we wanted to win this game or the way we should have played this game to win it is basically by just staying in with the meta gem play it out and then we would have easily won that game just with two shielded uh, with the two shielded um, wiggly tough and that's going to be a gg very well played Alrighty, next game we got another licky tongue so at this point i'm expecting they have the exact same team as we just faced so now i know how to play this uh, uh, game or this um, this team so we're just gonna go for the same thing and as i said before i don't like to shield this match in this matchup even though uh well now i might do because my opponent did it as well but in general i don't like to shield this matchup just due to the fact that um in general they they well, people with Licky Tanks in general go for the Body Slam because it's a bit of a risk to go for the Power Whip. But in this scenario, they actually go for it, which is alright because now we can easily come in with the uh, Medicham as well and just go for... Uh and go, just go for the farm down here and leave with a lot of energy they can throw and spam out these body slams i don't really care at this point because i expect them to have basically the same team as we just uh, as we just faced and lost against and now let's see if they have they're gonna hard swap into their own mini champ and we learned from this situation right in this at the start we went uh, straight into that wiggly puff or wiggly tough i should say i keep saying wiggly puff i don't know why but anyways uh at this point yeah i'm just going to stay and they go for another pop here and we just gonna go and reach the uh, ice punch here and uh, due to the fact that i stay in it might give them a uh, reason to shield because they think we are so weak against our mini champ but we are not and now we can come in with our wiggly tough and hopefully farm them all the way down before they reach yet another move um so they're gonna go for yet another power power up punch which is fine but can we farm down yes we can and now what do they have in the back that is going to be that Sableye maybe? No, it's going to be an Altaria. So kind of like the same team, right? Where both of them are weak against Fairy. Here, I'm just gonna go for the farm down and they try to catch because that was something I could have expected, which I did. And now we have the Ice Beam loaded. And that's going to be a GG uh, in this uh, video, uh, for or in this game, I should say. And now we hop on to the next one. So we got a Fairy type on the lead which is going to be Clefable and Clefable is a Pokemon which obviously hits very hard also a very nice mon to have for the Great League I think I uh, just managed to get myself one um, due to last uh, month uh, spawns and here I'm just gonna go for the Hydro you could go for the Earthquake but in general I would not advise that just go for the Hydro it just does a lot of damage uh, and uh, you don't need to uh really go for that earthquake so go for the hydros here they swap into that sableye and at this point i don't really care by swapping in with my wigglytuff even though it's a really hard counter obviously um but just going for the hydros here and then swap in is basically securing me to basically farm all the way down without them, them even reaching a move uh, and otherwise they sometimes reach the um return uh, and here I'm just going to shoot up because whatever they have in the back, if they come in with that um, uh, fairy type of the Clefable, they have something in the back that's probably going to be weak against my Wigglytuff. And what is what it's going to be? It is yet another fairy type. So they were running an ABA uh, uh, type of uh, team where we can just easily go for the move now. I tried to go uh, throw it on the, on, the, on the right timing, but it's kind of hard when they swap in late. And as you can see, we actually reach another move. So we get the triple kill with the Wigglytuff, which is absolutely insane. And that just gets to show how strong it is right now in this current meta, where we just took out all them Pokemon with just one Pokemon in the end. So here is a tricky matchup. I'm looking at the CP straight away and I see that they are 1473 or so, 
something like 77 like that so that just gives me the tell that they have a high attack set so that's why i'm not throwing immediately i'm just gonna well over farm a bit hoping maybe that we are uh, throwing good timing where we are now maybe one much shot uh, ahead but obviously that's probably not how it's going to go because here we throw on the cmp tie and they win it so yeah i was right with the fact that they have a uh, probably a higher uh, attack set um swampert but yeah, I'm just going to let this go at this point, which is already very unfortunate for us because this is putting us into a scenario where we lose uh, a very strong Mon and they still have a very healthy Swampert um, left over. But they do, do decide to shield as well, which means that we now have shield advantage, which is something that can uh, be really be advantageous for us later in this game. Because right now I'm just thinking if they come back in with a Swampert, they do not have a move because they threw it right into my own Swampert. And now we will leave with an Ice Punch. We will even outpace to the Psychic. So if they come back in with that Swampert, that Swampert is going to be gone get deleted straight away so now let's see what my opponent is going to uh, show and they have a manly bus in the back so this game is not over yet uh, and we're gonna go for the ice punch here i try to see if my switch timer is coming up maybe we can catch a move onto our uh, small bird which is something i'm trying here right now but my opponent shows great patience and they don't throw immediately but they still have to throw because i was able to reach probably a yet another uh, hydro uh, but this is fine at this point their swampert is well not so low but i think if they throw uh, a move here, uh, probably an aerial ace, which they are running, uh, and they throw a hydro right now, I think they won't kill us. And if they don't, if they don't take us out with the uh, hydro here, I think we will reach uh, yet another move, and that's going to be it for this game, probably because we do survive. We have a rank 18 uh, Wigglytuff, and ranks do sometimes matter. It can help very much in certain matchups, especially with tanky Pokemon and Wigglytuff. It's kind of like a tanky one where you can see we just took that one just by the effect that we have a high ranked one and that's going to be it for this game so in the next game we face a well, kind of like a tough pokemon for our team i should say especially if they shoot up the first move if we um, if we land the uh, earthquake in this scenario that that's going to be a very nice um, uh, thing for us in this game uh, but now let's see if my opponent is deciding to straight away shield which they do and i'm just going to swap into my medigem i don't really care if they have a hard counter for it uh, but i just want to get ahead and maybe get some um, damage off so here they we play into that cmp tie which is a bit unfortunate but i don't really mind too much because i just want to get rid of this Venusaur, or i want to get their final shield now let's see if they try to uh, or if they're gonna give that final shield no they are not and now they come in with that cherry sword so this is still a tricky situation I was hoping to see maybe something different in the back when they swapped into that grass type. Uh, but a Charizard will make sense sort of, right? Because, uh, well, they're not uh, ABA weak against, for example, counter. Here they had to throw because otherwise I would have reached another Ice Punch. And at this point, this is kind of like tricky because I cannot come in with my... Uh, Swampert because a Dragon Claw would have been a move that I had to shield up. But maybe that was the play. Maybe that was the play looking back at it right now because... I'm just gonna go for a lot of charm damage in this scenario. I want to get this thing as low as possible, maybe into a range where we can actually uh, put a um, hydro cannon on their uh, on their um, Jugon. That in the way that we can actually uh, farm them all the way down. We reach the hydro, but they outpace us by a turn, which is so so bad. I should have probably swapped in earlier. Uh, then I would have reached the hydro. I think. And then we would have won this game because right now we will get outpaced in this matchup and that is going to be it for this game which is a really unfortunate thing because i think we would we would have been, or we were in a position where we could have won that game but unfortunately we didn't so yeah ggs to my opponent so uh, in this next game we have the um uh galvantia on the lead which is a very favorable lead for um swampert in general because you just outpace to the move every time uh, and that is something really nice because they in general if they if you face a galvantia they will always shield because galf is well not the tankiest but it does output a lot of damage and here we farm up just before they get to another lunge go for the move once again and if they decide to shield that's fine if they don't decide to shield i'm not going to shield either uh, and then they decide to let it go which is fine because this puts them into a range where we can farm them down leave with a lot of energy and will probably threaten whatever they're gonna come back or gonna come uh, in with and they actually hard swap into that medicham which is a tell well we have learned from that game where we lost that we're not gonna come in with that wiggly tough they have probably something in the back that is weak against my fairy type uh, which we still have so i'm just gonna go and come into the mirror we are also now 
uh, ahead on uh, or be, uh, be ahead on HP, but we are behind on energy. But that that hydro cannon is actually going to come in clutch here because look at the damage we actually take take them out here. Now they come in with their final Pokemon and they actually have a wiggly tough of their of their own, which is really nice to see. But at this point, this game is over just because of the fact that we landed that hydro that we won this uh, that uh, lead matchup because now we output we outputted a lot of damage on that Medicham where well in the mirror we just win and we also output a lot of damage or just that ice punch damage to be honest uh, on that wiggly top where well both of us are going to just charm uh, each other down but because of the fact that their hp was lower we will win that one so next game i think i've played this guy uh, this trainer before many times also at higher elo um so yeah for well, hi to you i don't know if you uh uh, if you uh, recognize me as well, but here they make a beautiful catch. Obviously, I was uh, maybe uh, a bit uh, too uh, enthusiastic by throwing that move straight away, which is a bit unfortunate because, yeah, those high hitting moves, if they catch those, that's just just, just so painful to see. And uh, at this point, I even have to shoot up this uh, move by uh, securing the fact that we keep on, uh, that we keep switch as well, as well that we uh, still remain our um, energy. Uh, which is also well, it, it just you, you never want to shield a Pokemon which is this low of HP in except for certain situations, right? So here uh, we actually gonna go for the disarming voice. I'm expecting them maybe to shield as well because in general uh, Jukums like to um, uh, like to uh, shield a move once they have landed an icy wind debuff. Uh, so before before landing that they basically well, they are tempted to shield, um, but yeah. Uh, they have a uh, grass type in the back. They had ABB uh, grass in the back, and I don't really have a hard counter for grass Pokemon. And especially the um, um, the uh, Trevenant is just core breaking my team. So we decided to top left in this game, and that's going to be it for this video. Uh, hope you trainers enjoyed this video. Honestly, uh, if you if you have a Wigglytuff or you don't have one, but you have one uh, almost ready, try to make it. Try to finish it right now in the current meta. I think it is su such a strong pick. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you trainers enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you trainers in the next video. Peace.